Thank you. Thank you for TPMC to invite me to enjoy this uh, session. Uh, today, I want to introduce DNSA first to you. Uh, I think everyone can see my PDF right now, right? So uh, I will just move on. The Digital National Security Archive, uh, it's a database available on ProQuest platform. So today's uh, one hour session, I would like to give you some idea about my uh, about this database. First of all, I hope you will uh, understand the content and the research application. And uh, I will ex uh, explain what makes this uh, resource so unique, so unique. And the negative and the ne navigate search interface and create a shortcut. And then in the end, you should know how to interpret result and find the related information. So this is the Digital National Security Archive. Uh, the Na Digital National Security Archive original was published in collaboration with George, George Washington University's Research Institution National Security Archive. It's founded in 1985 by journalists and the scholars to check rising government security. Originally a print and a feature operation, the digital version launched in 1998. It's lead non-profit user of the U.S. Freedom of Information Act, global advocate of open government, and indexer the publisher of formal secrets. In collaboration with the National Security Archive, ProQuest has digitalized and uh, created more than 800,000 pages of a primary source dating back to 1945, including presidential directive, essays, memoranda, policy papers, reports, telegram, photos, and more. Many gathered through extensive use of the U.S. Freedom of, Inter in of Information Act by the archive. We provided a searchable four image documents are originated into more than 15 collections, with two or three new collections added each year, spanning eight decades of American and international history. The Digital National Security Archive give perspective into the most criti critical period that uh, conical a uh, nation. We are suited for study in history, politics, international relations, and beyond. Covers 17 years of U.S. foreign policy from 1945 to current. DNSA is the world's largest non-government library of declassified documents. Its mission is to open secret government files provide contents and access to previously unavailable primary source use top six scholar, researcher, and fellows. And who should use DNSA? DNSA supported the research in U.S. foreign policy worldwide, the U.S. influence on other countries' history and the politics, Compar uh, co comparative political and the history courses, U.S. government relations and the policy making, diplomatic study, international aid, activities, the role of Congress in foreign policy, national security policy formation, national histories. All of this subject, you can find a related document in DNSA. For U.S. foreign policy worldwide, you could see there are a lot of countries on this 
slide. If you can find any foreign policy related to Asia, China, Korea, Vietnam, Philippines, Russia, and so on. So, why makes DNSA so unique? Because they, uh, because their in depth introduction and the analytical essay by top six scholars. So it has been selected by the product manager as an example for an introduction of a DNSA module. For any module in the DNSA, there will be uh, has a uh, has a detail introduction to give you all the information you need. Such like such uh, such like uh, chronologies of detailed case political events, bibliographies, and the content include top secret presidential directives internal work papers, confidential cables, eyes only memos, single copy briefing books, code word intelligence reports, sensitive meeting minutes, email messages preserved from the deletion, transcripts of the top secret meeting. And for the metadata for each collection, a scholar in foreign policy at the Okofi Index and summarized all documents, capturing 20 files, including subject, people named, classification, creator, recipient, object, and so on. So there have some common question about the DNA say all the time. Isn't the metro is isn't the isn't the metro in DNA say available on the internet for free? Because people will find the uh, the file are free on the US government. You you can just go into there website and put some keywords, you still can get some files out. However, that's not the same. Unlike all the declassified document resources, the National Security Archive is not affiliated with the government. This is an organization belonging to the university. The scholar and the journalist will independent to find the files to create more ideas into the collection. So the documents are targeted by the expert for acquisition. FOIA is aggressively used those to the file if necessary for more complete content and for the timing release. Document supplement by explanatory assets, chronology, uh, chronologies, groceries, and useful bibliographies. We provide a more different kind of the search point to the user to find out what they need in the database. And some documents was found by the scholarship from the scholar, not only just download from the government website. Therefore, make this collection is very different and unique from other documents on internet. Okay, after we know about the DNSA, 
we should to go to the website to see how we can do the search. So right now I want to transform to my uh, I will go to the database first and then uh, for the end of this session I will show how to go to the how to get into the database through the library website. Everyone can see the website, right? It's ProQuest platform. And uh, it's National Taiwan University. Uh, for, for a student or professor in National Taiwan University, you can use around 28 database on ProQuest platform. So, you get to uh, you can change your interface language from the here from here. Click this icon and you can change from the interface web uh, the website interface language. We can do the English one. Okay. We have a lot of different kinds of the database could use on the website. And you should find the Digital National Security Archive here. We can pull all these collections out to see how many collections we have right now. Uh, in, in, the, um, in this platform for the NTU library, we collect uh, 28 collections only, not whole the collection of DNSA, so we can just share, we can just just check out what kind of countries related here. We have the offhand, Burning Cross, China, and the CIA family, and the Cuban. And uh, we have something related to the um, Iron, And uh, we have something related to the Japan. We have two collections related to Japan. And uh, we have one question about the Kinsler uh, uh, Kinsler transcripts. This is very important to uh, to the people who study in China, Taiwan, and the USA relationship. And uh, we have Philippines. And then we still got a more different kind of collection, like the tourism and the U.S. policy. Uh, this is not only just one uh, country's file; it's about the U.S. policy. And we have other, like China, we have two. This one is another one. Okay, so we have a lot of details, uh, different kind of. Uh, uh, subject here. Uh, here is the banana. Okay, so we have different kinds of uh, subjects here. It's totally should be 28. And we can go to here, click here to search for all the topic. But it's not just make sense because of what I said before. The scholar try to collect and introduce and uh, summarize the topic so you should to go to different topic to see what you need such like the maybe you want to search for china and the usa uh, documents then you can just go inside here after you click the name and you will bring it will bring you to the particular subject so you will see China and the U.S. from hostility, uh, hostility to engagement, 1916 to 1998. If you want to know more about the, this collection, just click one time. Just click it one more time. And then you will see download here, there has more information. If you get here, you will see whole picture about this subject. They will, uh, they will tell you 
the scopes and the source of document set. So, what is this subject has? You can find all the uh, details here, and they will show you the most significant things in this collection. So you can see a lot of different kind of thing in this collection here. Now we will find there will be a a, a big things here. Tiananmen incident. It's just uh, the same. Uh, uh, the news just reported the Tiananmen incident. So maybe we can just use this as a uh, example to show you how to do the search. But we will do the search later. Let's go down and see how different kind of the different kinds of the uh, introduction. They will tell you what's the value of the set about which kind of the subject. And there have some limitation of this set. It's uh, it's uh, it's be evaluated by the scholar in George Washington universities. They say the limitation of this collection fell two basic uh, categories. The first is because it's just one sign from one side. You only can see the records of the U.S. You, you never see, you, you cannot find out any records from PRC. So uh, it's only one side thought. The other one is the about the documents as being existing. So it has some limited. They will tell you very clear. Besides, they will give you the major original, the the what uh the document where they come from. They come from different departments of the United States. So they will list all the things here to you. So we can go back to see the name list. They will give you all the important people to let you know if you, you uh, anyone you want to look at if they are in this collection. So they got a lot of people's name here. Okay. And they have subject list. Also, you can check out. Now I want to use Tiananmen courses to be an example to do the search in this collection. So we go to the search bar. We have a basic search, advanced search. We can just use the basic search. And then we do the do the search to see how many records we can have. As you can see, we have the twenty eight result in this title, and we can divide it to the record type into document, bibliography, chronology, and this one we can just look at it to know what is the time. What is the big milestone in these two country? When we click here, there's a very long, long list. It's from 1949, October 1, to start from this uh, subject. So you will see at the very beginning, they, they can't, it, it's come out the Tiananmen Gate already. But it's not the timing we want to fight. The Tiananmen crosses has happened in 1989. So we should to go back, we should go down to 1989. Here. 
So what happened here? You could see here. They they write down. Um, okay, maybe we see this date. Uh, if actually the uh, the the fight as hap, uh, the fight happened on June fourth, but actually the protest is start from June third. So the you can see the details here, and the, this reported from the American embassy in Beijing reports that. You can see what happened here. And on the day, June 4th, the American embassy reports that during the early morning hour of the 4th, June 1989, the Chinese PLA used automatic, uh, automatic weapon tanks and uh, armored personnel uh, carriers to move through uh, protesters and their bar barricade in order to reach the center of Beijing. An unknown number of protesters and the PLA personnel are reported dead and with many more wounded. The these words where they come from, they give you the, the citation here, okay? And then Move to the next paragraph. The President Bush stated that he deeply deplored the decision to use force against the peaceful demonstrators and the consequent loss of life. And then the next day, what happened? The USA said something. You see, the President Bush announced a package of uh, saying Sanctions in week of Tiananmen Square. No arms and the military technical cooperation. Embargo, embargo on sales of a draw use technical to the military or policy or police. Suspension of license of item on, of, on US government uh, ministry list. U.S. opposition to consider China specific proposal for easy COCOM controls. So they got something back to the China. I think for this one, it's very easy to us to see what happened here and uh, what a reaction U.S. government has had. So it's easy to find out the, the, the events and what happened next. So it's very easy to look at this uh, uh, this uh, this resource. So it's very useful here, and it's not it, it's not in the uh, you cannot just check out this resource on the uh, introduction. You have to look at the search, then you will find out. You have to do the search first, then you will find out the chronology is here. Okay. So let's go back to see if we can see another different kind of the uh, documents about Tiananmen Shijian. Now we can see there has a, a document, a bibliography, chronology, and uh, we can see the different kind of the uh, subject. You can see the different kind of subject and the classification here. And you can just try to search more different kinds of the, the the subject you want to look at. So you can just go to the more, they will give you more idea and about the, the Tiananmen Square incident. They have 25 documents here. You can just get into and find out if if, if anything you need need to see. And you can check all the things here. If I just want to look at Hong Kong, okay, we can just look at Hong Kong. The late time is uh, related to Hong Kong is more related to the uh, economic economy some 
economy things. They have four ideas here. Then we can do the uh, the further. We can just look at it. Most of them are the reports. Most of them are reports. So which reports you can see is from the Bureau of Intelligence and the Research Office of uh, the brief the Bureau of Intelligence and the Research. This is the intelligence of the defense of department. So it's very important to the government. And uh, all of them are the reports. Only this one is very interesting. It's the USA official to visit the, uh, China with their high uh, government uh, officer. So what they did, uh, what did they talk about in this meeting? You can find out in the document. We can just click here, or you can just download. You can download the PDF to see how things. And then we just can uh, go to the we can go to the uh, PDF to see, or we can just uh, zoom in the document. And here you will find um, uh, it's more easier to see in the PDF. This is the document you can have from the DNSA. It's very clear and. Uh, there are a lot of handwriting here. It's so clear. You can find out the name if you can recognize the handwriting. You will find how many people read this meeting minutes, the secret meeting minutes. Okay, so you can see uh, it's a summary for this uh, for this uh, meeting, and uh, they write down a lot of different kinds of the information. Some blocked. Some blocked because of the, 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 the national issues, so they blocked. But you should can find out some part of the record here to see. They have 31 pages for this meeting. This meeting included a lot of the uh, economy policy. So, okay, you can see inside here. So it's very clear, and all of these words you can find out the they they are OCR. So you can just uh, do more search in this uh, in this document in ProQuest Plan form to find more words you need. Let's go back to ProQuest Plan form here. As uh, so you can see the documents, and also here you can see the suggested source. They will provide a different kind of the documents here for you to do the more uh, research. Okay. So let's go back to the file. Let's go back to the result. We have four different kinds of result here. If you want to collect all, you can just click here. The full select item you can download or email back to you. The first of all, I will say you should to know our uh, citation. In ProQuest, we have a good citation format for you to to help you to deal with your reference. Here you will find that we have more than 10 different kinds of citation format. If you use the APA 6 or APA 7, it, oh, uh, you can just choose anything you like. Uh, we can just change to the Chicago as well. Then they will show you if, if this is the, the format you need. And uh, you can just copy it, copy here, from here. And then you can just copy and paste to the Word file or Excel file to deal with the small reference. But if you like to use any other bibliography tool, such like EndNote or RefWorks, then we can uh, support you to do that also. In here, you can just uh, export the result to RefWorks 
or EndNote, or you can download just like the Excel file. So you can use the citation easily. If you want to just email all the PDF back, then you have to choose this one. So you have to select the original file format. They have some limit limitation. If your file is too big, then the email won't be work. So you have to make sure your uh, file is under 7 MB. Also, you can uh, include the bibliography citation in the end of the email. So you can also choose here. And then give, give us your name and then your email and the, the uh, subject. Then you can just do the stand, uh, do the uh, download things. Uh, but if you don't want to do the email, you want to do the download right now, and uh, you just have to use this PDF. It's very easy to create a, a PDF for you to download right, right time. Okay, just download it. So it's very easy to use. After uh, around half hour passed, and I think DNSA, I have done the demonstration. Now I would like to move to BP, the British Periodical. Okay, we have another half hour. I want to introduce the other archive or database. That's called the British Periodical Collection. This collection has four subjects. And uh, we, uh, in NTU, we can have the collection one, two, four. So uh, only collection three we cannot use in uh, NTU. So uh, please, please notice that. So uh, I want to introduce about the Brit British periodicals right now. British periodical collection one and two collect 472 titles, which include uh, the most famous periodicals and the lesser known journalists under growth from the 90s, from the 70s to the early 20th centuries. Subsequently, collection three and four total of 18 important journals with the large circulation and the long and the longevity were launched reflecting the change in British history and culture in the first half of the 20th century, covering politics, news, culture, and society, culture and his, cultural and historical development. The whole collection contained 491 uh, journals and and divided to four collection. Uh, the this, this whole collection sources from 100 libraries. Most of our, most of them are variable in four or nearly four rounds. They all scanned and all see other full text. It means you can search. You can search the keywords and you can view the full text image. And also we provided the browsing function. You can browse by title, issue by issue, page by, by, by page. For the collection one, uh, we will say in the collection one, you will find out, you will find out early British periodicals covering history, literature, slavery, psychology, science, religion, and the folk culture. There have some notable publications include Gentleman's Magazine. This magazine, founded in 1731, Gentleman's Magazine is the first publication published in the name of a magazine in modern times. The full content complete preserved. Anti-slavery reporter and other anti-slavery publications provide first-hand accounts reports of British par par uh, parliamentary pr 
proceeding and the speeches made by anti-slavery groups at the time. Various religious journals such as uh, such as Methodist Magazine and the Jewish Quarterly Review. A collection two is a digital collection of documents indispensable uh, for reflecting the social development in 18th to 19th century, in which famous thinker and writer publish articles or editors on topics covering literature, music, arts, drama, uh, archaeology, and architecture. Famous authors include the fall of Robinson Crusoe, Joseph Edison, and Richard Steele, the founder of the famous magazine Tatler and the Spectre, John Stuart Mill, the classical liberal thinker in the 19th century, T.S. Eliot, the 1948 winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature. The T.S. Eliot, his first book of poetry, uh, proof works, uh, and uh, other observation was published in the spring of 1917, and the Western End was published in 1922. This work was regarded by critics as one of the famous influential points, points of the 20th centuries. And in our database, you can use also author to search all his works. And for collection three, uh, the one we don't have, it's the great eight. It reflected the content of British history and culture in the first half of the 20th century, covering politics, news, culture, and society. These publications also made many famous British artists and illustrators at the time, such as W. Heath, Heath City Robinson. And all of these, uh, all of these Three articles were published weekly, so you can see they 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 has around more than thirty, like this one is more around uh, seventeen. So they has uh the the biggest the biggest and the deeper report to the social and the, all the history. You can just look at the uh articles, then you can feel like you live in the same time. Uh, uh, the W. Heathen Robinson is a very famous illustrator. Uh, he is very cute. You can see here. The Heath Robinson born in Finsbury Park in North London on 31 May 1872. Became renowned for his details drawing and uh, satirical text on life. This this one is about the the the, the book. Uh, it's about the, the how we spend the Christmas, with some remarks on Christmas as Dickens draw it. As you know, the Dickens has a famous novel about the Christmas. At the that Christmas, the 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 own the 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 uh, the man. Actually, it's the one who doesn't want to share any money. He's rich. They, he just don't want to share. And then he found it's not a good idea. He tried to share his rich in the end. It's a, it's a happy ending. But you can see here, the, his Robinson said, Alas, I have principally one impression of Christmas, an impression so sad and overpowering us to nearly obliterate others from my memory. So you can see how I 
what I spend, how I spend in Christmas. So many food, only I can enjoy this food. So it's very interested and very uh, chaos to, to 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 speak the the Christmas time, uh, to say something about the Christmas as they can see draw it. And um, uh, probably uh, you you are not so uh, um, understand his uh, different kind of drawing idea. He is the one who likes to, to use a lot of the uh, detail drawing about the machine to show the uh, different kind of the way some imagination about the people's living life being changed by the machine. It's very interesting. And uh, we, let me show you the expression in London in this May. You can see this one is BBC News. BBC News. It says the the W. H. Robinson, the London Exhibition celebrating cartoonist. And there has an exhibition here. He likes to use this kind of the machine to think about the different kind of human life influenced by the machine. So people at that time they only can live in a very, very small house, a small apartment. So how can they get the bigger space? He think about it to use this kind of a machine to extend their living life outside of the building. Like a baby is here, he is sitting here, and the, even the dog is outside the house. So he likes to draw like this uh, different kind of the idea. And he's very, uh, like he's like the machine a lot. So this one is very interesting too. Inter interesting too. So you can just go and check it on internet. You can find out many different kind of drawing here. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Uh, here you will find out the this example I I find out is the book man. The book of man actually is the collection in British one and two. So even we don't have collection three, we still can find out the his Robinson's works in British periodical database. Try to get some and uh, you will enjoy it. And we just I just want to show you some great eight journal for you to have an idea. As a Britannia and Eve. And this one is about the woman. Um, the very original one is a thing about the family, the children, how to raise the children. But it, but they change a little bit after the World War Two. You will find here the woman start to go to have some sports activities, and the woman go out for a walk. So they need different kind of shoes, and they need to be small good. So they have different kind of advertisement in the end of the the date. And then there has the bystander. The bystander is trying to uh, repel all the high class family, high class society, how their life is. You can see this one is very interesting. In here, in this, uh, in this picture, Actually, this girl was saying like, oh, I don't know how to peel the, the uh, potato. Should I ask him? So it's just want to use this question to, to, let, to let her friend think about, oh, you are a, you are a lady who never do the housework by yourself to improve your a personal uh, image. So at that time, there has different kinds of idea here. Uh, it's very interesting. And then uh, they have some different kind of report about the arts. There are a lot of different kinds of performance activities, and they will do some reporting. Okay. So uh, we move to the collection four. 
uh, collection four is about uh, the uh, Chinese popular periodical over uh, top so, uh, socialist publications as well as popular magazines. This collection examines the interest of the general public and covering in prior international relations and the conflict, art, culture, country life, and the politics, uh, and so more. And then you will find uh, in this in this collection, it's more focusing on the general public. But the, for the collection two, uh, for the collection three, the one is actually is more focusing on the people, the rich people's life. So it's it's very different, and because of the World War Two, the the society style is changed. The middle level is 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 broad, so they have the different kind of idea about uh, how to give them some news, what kind of cultural activity they would like to see. So it's create a lot of journals come out. Here you will find the field and the, the Tribune and the top spot. Uh, they have different kind of public frequency. Here you, it's very different. But all of this is for the general public. Uh, we can see the whole for a uh, whole collection about the British periodical. We can uh, use different kind of subject to introduce the the crucial titles for you. For the literature, you should know there has the the London magazine, the gentleman magazine, London Journal, Lomas magazine, the English Illustrated magazine, the English Review, and the Fortnightly, and the General magazine and the Imperial Review. All of these are all of these you can find out a lot of big and famous writers articles here. So it's very important to to know all the if you're trying to research one famous writer, I think it's 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 good way to see uh not only his book, but to see what kind of small article maybe he provide in the magazine. So it's different way to look at one uh, author. The other one is the politics. The politics is very important because during the time, it's more like a, it's like a newspaper. The 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 different party want to use the uh, publication to invite a different kind of the writer think to have their idea to influence the people who has the vote, who can vote. So it's very important for them to uh, to running this kind of periodicals, such like the Edinburgh Review. Uh, it's very uh, famous uh, periodical. The author, uh, the, the editor is very uh, aggressive on the political issues. So you will see different kinds of the uh, political issues in British, then they will report all the idea. So you can check it. There has some like art. Art is famous. Uh, art is a big issue and a big subject in British periodical. There has art journal and the musical thing. The other one is the religion. religion. And then like the historical and the newspaper, so on. In in British periodical, you are not only can find out the life in Europe or in British, but also you can find out some uh, cultural in different in, in far far away, such like the um, Machasa. The Machasa actually it's a, a uh, it's a big ship, and this is the the way he uh, the the road he want to go. He travels from the U, uh, UK here, 
and uh, he he uh, this ship go down to the Spain and get into to Italy and then go to uh, Egypt and then pass through here and go to the India and the south and the east south Asia and the pass through Taiwan the Formosa here and go to Japan they uh, have the stop in they stop by Japan and then move to the uh, uh, the Russia here and then come back to China and go back to the same road back to UK so in British periodical you will find out the many uh, trip the, the long trip to go to the far east this uh, travel article is very famous and very popular they published in different kind of periodicals and uh, this also uh, this uh, this uh, traveler become very famous and uh, all the high class people want to invite this traveler to their party because they want them to share what they see what they heard what they eat in the far east so uh, this one uh, is very is uh, this book is very famous the Gilmara it the Gilmara it's the course of the Machosa to to Formosa so it's it's a long way it's very famous one and uh, you can see it's too famous even the quarterly review it's a political subject it's a political subject periodical, but it also has the book review about this, this book. However, it's, uh, it's too, it, it better have a lot of different kinds of uh, story about the travel, about the people pretend they are the traveler to go to far eastern. So there has some imposters try to give the fact story and they will publish like a book or just an article on the periodical and try just want to get some profit from this and this one is quite famous and uh, uh, Sarmaza Naza, Basarmaza this this one this this person actually uh tell everyone he is the original original born in Formosa so he is Taiwanese he thought he is Taiwanese he he announced this news and uh, he wrote this book and historical and uh, ge uh, geographical description of Formosa in this book purporting to be a detailed description of Formosan customs, geography, and the political economies, but which was in fact a complete invention, invention because it's fact. The factor contained in this book are an amalgaming of other traveler reporters, especially influenced by the accounts of the Azat and the Ikan civilization in the New World and by envelope sheet descriptions of the Japan. So it's very famous, uh, it's very funny book for people to read right now. And uh, this book has been translated into uh, traditional Chinese and published by Da Kuai Wen Hua. So if you are interested in this book, you can just take a look. Okay, so uh, it's, it's almost about time. And uh, for the demonstration, I just go back to the, I just want to go back to the uh, progress plan form. And then I want to just show you the, about the, how to search the Formosa in, uh, how to search Formosa and how to go to the, uh, database through library website.
So I move to the website first. Okay, here. If you want to look at uh, the British periodical or DNSA, you can just go to the, in the front page of the uh, National Taiwan University Library's website. And then you can look at the database here. Then you can just type in the database name to do the search. And then you can just click here. Uh, if you do it at your home, you probably need to download the VPN tool to log in by uh, to log in and uh, use your ID password. Okay, so let's go back to here to select the database first. So we go to the British periodicals. We can do some search. The one I want to search is the his Robinson. Let's see any other different kind of the uh, illustrate illustration he he wrote he drew. So there are around eight thousand results. And then you can just find out different kind of the the works he had. Probably we can see this one, the Robinson at the wall. Here. Oh, I didn't see any draw, but he wrote down something here. Okay, it's a book, so it's like a book review. Okay, maybe you can just look at the different kind of the uh, result and then you can do some uh, sorting by source type. Maybe I just want to look at the uh, magazine also uh, you can down here and or you just don't want to uh, you just want to see some words so you have to do the data setting. We can update. Okay, like this. So you can just go do and stop. Oh, please remember to do this. You need to use this mark to make sure you find out the his Robinson, his Robinson. Okay. And then you will find there is only one result. Also, you can do the PDF download or a citation, email, print. You can do the, the, the download things here. Okay, I think for the demonstration, it's just totally the same with the DNSA. So I don't do it again. But if you have any question about this print phone or these two database, you can contact with the librarian and I will receive your question and I will reply you as soon as possible. Thank you for this one hour. I hope I have given you all the information you need. Thank you so much. Thank you.